Agility, endurance, and strength, all physical attributes to make a great police officer. I gave this test my all, but you need to be perfect to pass. If you fail at any point, the test is over and you're asked to leave, but you can try again. If we do have someone who fails the physical, um, we pull them aside before they leave or we ask them to come talk to us before they leave. Um, kind of discuss what they've been doing to prepare themselves and things that they could do to help them in the future if they decide to try again. The firm schedule starts with a standing vertical jump of 13.5 inches and then quickly moves into completing at least 24 sit-ups in a minute. Common violations that lead to failure include not touching shoulders to the ground, elbows to knees, or unlocking hands behind the head. After the last sit-up, we head outside for the 300 meter run that must be completed in 82 seconds. Back inside for a minimum of 21 push-ups. It's a full lockout and no rest. How much do I have to do? 21. Okay. <laughs> Immediately after that, we head to the starting line for the 1.5 mile run in under 18 minutes and 56 seconds. Yep. I'm just gonna lay down right here. The last test is a trigger pull test. The test relied on forearm strength to pull the trigger with one finger and keep it within the box's circle. If a prospective trainee were to pass the agility test, he or she would then move to a three hour written exam that same day. This would start a 16-week training process that ends with the same test, but even harder. What you guys did today was just the entrance standards. That's to get you into the academy. And then as you train, <clears throat> and as the weeks go on in the academy, um, you get stronger, and then they raise the standards uh, for the exit. I'm John Paul. Thanks for watching. Here's another video for you to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.